How's it going guys? It's Serge coming at you again with another tech video. This is just going to be a really short video showing you how to use MD5 and the MD5 checker. I use this quite a lot in all my videos. It's just a matter of you checking your files. What I usually do in my videos is I send you somewhere to go get files to install them onto your phone or whatever the tutorial might say you need those files for. A really good practice you should use all the time is checking the MD5 of that file. So what it is, it's really putting it in the really easy terms MD5 is pretty much just a code that a file has. So whenever someone packages up that file and knows that it is correct on their computer, whenever they send it over the internet, it might be changed by a couple of bits here and there, but that can make all the difference and that can lead to corrupting certain firmwares, it can lead to software not properly working because it's just slightly altered by a couple of bits. So what this MD5 code does is it's generated by the original person that knows it works well. It's given out with the file so that whenever you download it to your computer, you can use that little code that they give you and run it through an MD5 program and make sure that the codes match. So that's actually what I'm going to be showing you today really quickly because I use this in a lot of videos and I tell you to use MD5, but I've never really actually explained it to you guys in a video so I'm finally gonna do it now so in my case I'm just using a really really small MD5 application that I've downloaded off the internet I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description down below so you can get this one it's super lightweight it does what it needs to do and that's it and that's really all you need so this is the MD5 check utility I have version 2.31 this is actually freeware from TSOF LTD you can get this at uh, midwavi.com, but I'm going to leave a link to the one that I have in the description down below. So what I've actually done here is I'm actually going to create an MD5 checksum or an MD5 code that I'm going to actually give to you guys so you can get this exact utility that I have on my computer. And to do that, I'm going to select the .exe as the file and then go ahead and hit open. And then as you see right here, it says, would you like to run the notepad and paste and save the MD5 hash? I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And I'm going to go ahead and just paste it. So as you see, what we have done is I'm actually, I have actually selected a file, which is what everyone else does on the internet when they do this and they create an MD5. I've selected a file and created an MD5 checksum. And this code right here is what I'm actually going to give you in the description down below so you can make sure whenever you get this file that it is in fact the exact same as it is on my computer. And this MD5 checksum actually completely verifies that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to verify that this .exe is correct. So it's like if you were downloading the file and this is you actually checking the file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this MD5 checksum that I've just created and I'm going to verify an MD5 and as you see this utility automatically copies anything that's in your clipboard onto here and it's already copied that MD5 checksum so you can hit paste just to make sure if you want but then I'm actually gonna browse over to that to this MD5 utility and here's the same file we just made a checksum with I'm gonna go ahead and select it and hit open and there you go so it is verified that the codes match it's that simple so if for whatever reason this is red and it says the codes do not match that means there's something off in the bits and you should probably download that file again so you make sure that it is all completely 100 percent the same now some things that i have actually learned and i want to pass on to you guys is whenever it comes to firmware i deal with a lot of firmware because i flash phones and stuff Sometimes they give you the MD5 for the whole zip file and not the file within that zip file. And of course, if the zip file checks out to be good, you know, then that means the files within that zip file are going to be okay. But sometimes I've actually thought that the file within the zip file is what was supposed to be verified by the checksum when in fact it was the zip file itself. So just make sure that if something zipped up or there's a file within a file, if you do get some kind of error, it could either be that or it could just be the file is corrupted. 
Alright guys, so hopefully that cleared up a couple questions for y'all. I went ahead and showed you the whole process and hopefully you learned a little bit about what MD5 is, just a general sense. I know for a fact there's a lot more technical facts behind it and everything, but I just wanted to put it in a sense that everyone could understand. So we just went ahead and I showed you how people create the MD5 checksum, what that checksum is, the code is, and how to verify it and you're actually going to be able to do that whole process yourself of checking the md5 checksum from a file we just made in this video all the files like i said are going to be down below uh, i'm going to leave the md5 checksum as well and then please use this in all future videos or whenever you're on the net and you're downloading a file if they provide you with the md5 please be sure to check it and make sure that they are verified so you know that the software is completely okay all right guys so i hope you found this video informative Please be sure to give me a like, that actually shows me that you guys are finding this videos interesting and I should keep them going. So thank you if you give me a like. And please be sure to share this video everywhere on, on websites with all your friends and everything that you find they might be enlightened by this video as well. Please be sure to share this video everywhere and go check out all my other videos on my channel. I have a whole bunch of other tech videos on there that you might find interesting and like and subscribe because I do come out with a whole bunch of other tech videos all the time and if you subscribe you'll get those videos as soon as they come out. Alright guys, that's it for now. Yeah.